after having watched that really long video on intro to radicals, we can tackle more difficult problems like word problems. So this problem is asking us, I want you to find the area of each of the shapes. And we're going to do that first by putting the formulas down. So the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. And you're going to substitute each of your numbers into the formula. So the base is 2 root 3 times your height root 6 over 2. If you've watched the previous video, you now know how to multiply and divide roots. So when you're multiplying, whole number multiplies with the whole number, so there's an invisible 1 there. 2 times 1 is 2. And then the roots are going to multiply the roots. So root 3 times root 6 gives you root 18. Now that other 2 is still on the bottom, so I'm going to write that down. And when you do the division of radicals, it's the exact same thing. So whole numbers are going to divide with whole numbers. And you're left with root 18. Now when you're simplifying this, you want to make sure that there aren't any perfect squares in your final root. Now there is a perfect square in there, and that's 9. 9 is square rootable. So 9 times 2 gives you 18. And remember to square root both of those, because that 18 was underneath the root sign. And the square root of 9 is 3. So your final answer is 3 root 2. And I'm going to put units, because I don't know if it's the centimeters or meters, and then squared because we're finding the area. Notice that I didn't change this to a decimal because with decimals you're just rounding. So I don't want to round, I just want everything to be nice and an exact answer, and that's what that 3 root 2 represents. Moving on to the rectangle, we have the area equals length times width, which is 5 root 6 for the length and 4 root 3 for the width. Whole number times whole number gives me 20. Root times root gives me the root. Okay, And again, if you can break down that 18, which we did before, do it because that'll give you the simplest form. Square root of 9 is 3. And then the whole numbers multiply with whole numbers. And then the roots with the roots, and there is no other root. So we just leave it at the back. Units squared. Now if we have a circle, it's the exact same thing. Area equals pi r squared, and I know what my r is. It's root 2 for the radius. There's a couple different ways you can do this now. I'm noticing that a root and a squared cancel each other out, and I'm just going to get the 2 by itself. Now if you didn't notice that right away, you could also think of, well, a root 2 squared is just root 2 times itself, which would give you a root 4, and that equals 2. So that's where that 2 comes in as well. It doesn't matter which way you do it, um, whether you do it the long way or the short way, you're going to get the same answer anyway. And I'm going to rewrite that with the coefficient in the front. And that's going to be units squared. The next question for this tutorial is, a square has an area of 675 centimeters squared. Find the length of a side in simplest radical form. Um, I would like to add a square in here, just for visual purposes. So your square has an area of 675. Each of the sides are the same, because obviously it's a square. And if one side is x, the other side's x. If I write down the equation, I'm going to start to be able to solve for x. So the area, which is length times width, can be replaced by x's because your length and your width are the same. And that's just x squared, which equals 675. Whoops. Okay, 675. Now to solve for x, we're going to square root, do the opposite of that squared. 
and that means x equals to root 675. That's the final answer, except for the fact that they had mentioned they want the simplified radical form. If you can break down that 675 and find a perfect square in there, then definitely do it. Now the biggest perfect square in 675 is 225. And I have to multiply that by 3 to get the 675. Both of those are square rooted because the 675 was square rooted. And then the square root of 225 is 15. And that was in centimeters. Therefore, the length of a side is 15 root 3 centimeters.